Hi guys, so Brexiteers Sir Desmond Swain, what is it with people who have been knighted and Brexit? Anyway, he appeared in the House of Commons to make a fool out of himself on questioning why the UK and the EU can't have a digital border like some other countries. Remember, Sir Desmond is someone who campaigned for Brexit and still supports it, at least the last time I checked. Well, the response from the government minister will probably not be to his liking. Have a listen to this. Sir Desmond Swain. UK aid promoted trade in Africa by making borders seamless through digitising all the administrative processes. Is that on our agenda for trade with the EU at all? It's monstrous that we're filling in forms. <laughs> he wanted this, first of all. Okay, this is what he wanted. We told him, Sir Desmond, it will be a bad idea to leave the single market in the customs union because businesses will have to fill out forms. And he's, I don't remember his exact response, but I imagine it was stop engaging in Project Fear. So we've been proven right. But okay, his point about digital forms, and he was talking about African countries. Um, does Sir Desmond not understand the difference between a trading bloc and an individual country. Now, individual countries can make an agreement. Okay, let's have um, trade, and the paperwork that goes along with that tr goes along with that trade is digital. That's perfectly fine. But the UK is a third country, and the EU single market and the customs union is part of a block. Anyway, even if the UK government said tomorrow we're going to digitize everything, you can digitize it on your side. But if it's not digitized on the other side, businesses will still have to complete paperwork. Minister. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I understand from my uh, right honourable colleague that uh, uh, we aim to have the best border in place by 2025. So, <laughs> a Tory promise of will have the best border in place, will lead, lead the world on borders, I imagine, um, will have the best border in place by 2025. So two things I have to say about this, of course, is, well, one problem is you don't control both sides of the border. You control one side of the border. You control your side of the border. So I don't know how you can have the best border in place. <laughs> if the other side is not the best, then it's irrelevant how best your border is. And the second point, 2025. So once again, we have to wait another three years for a Brexit benefit. So yes, the Brexit benefits are coming, but just wait another three years. And that's a Tory promise. Okay, and we know how reliable Tory promises are. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you thought about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.